Hey everyone, um, I'm going to show you how to move the camera around. And this is a good thing to do because uh, if you're working with 3D, you want to be able to move around your world so you can see your design. Um, and you, there's no telling what kind of 3D game are you making. Maybe you're making a first person shooter or a uh, act a platform game you're just using 3d objects but anyways let's just get started okay so I loaded um, a simple object it's my uh, room for the OBJ object file and I assign it to my house the variable my house and then I set object image basically putting this texture onto the house so let's just run it okay so this is my house um, so it's just there I can't move around I can't look at it you know it makes designing uh, your 3d world pretty hard so let's go ahead and what we're going to do is create a new file and the reason why we create a new file is so if we uh, make any more 3d 3D games in the future we can just use that same old file okay so I'm gonna go new file uh, add new file to current project yes I want to add it to the project uh, you can call it whatever you want I'm gonna call it uh, my movement mint I can't spell my move and then you have to put the extension AGC. Make sure you put that extension. So it's mymove.agc. That way he knows that it's a app game file. Okay, so there it is. We're gonna create a function. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, but I'm gonna call it WASD. I like to close things right away. Okay, so what do we have in the WASD? Uh, let's see. So WASD is the WASD. We're going to start with W. So what we're going to do is we're going to go if um, so. If you don't remember what to do, you click the help button. The help button comes over here see commands we're going to do the input raw and then we're going to get the key state so get raw key state and the reason you do a separate file also is because um, this particular these particular commands are for Windows commands or desktop commands which you use but if you're making a game for like uh, Android or something you um, if you're making a game for like Android you want to be able to remove this folder so you can uh, just play the games this fo this particular file and folder and all these tools that I'm going to show you is for to help you make help it I'm um, just having such a hard time is to help you make it easier to design your game there you go <laughs> okay so integer get raw state so he wants an integer key and what he wants is the scan code key to, of what you uh, uh, of the key you press so the W key so to get the uh, scan codes you go to home on AGK here, you, you click on guides and you scroll down it has scan codes right here. And we are going to find W. So key W is 87. And so if get raw key state equals one, so one is true and zero is false. So if it is true I always like to close things right away 
if it is true, <coughs> then we're going to move the camera forward. So we're going to set, whoops, set camera. Uh, maybe that's not right. So let's go to the help. We're going to look at 3D, scroll down to camera. <coughs> oh, it's move camera. My bad. So we're going to move the camera on its local, and Z is forward and backwards. So we're going to go Z, and then it wants the integer camera ID. One is your default camera. So we go one, and then it wants a float amount. So I'm just going to put 10, and it will convert it to a float. And that should move it forward. And now we're going to go uh, else if get raw key. state and now we want to get the S key so we gotta go back to key codes I don't have the key codes memorized so I have to go back so it's home guides scan codes and we want the S key to go backwards so it's 83 equals to 1. 1 is true. Okay, so now if we press the S key, we want to move camera on its local axis, local Z, uh, default camera is 1, same speed. We're going to go ahead and save it, and go ahead and test it. Okay, so now I'm pressing W, doesn't do anything. Oh, and there's a reason why it's not doing anything. Because you have to include the mymove.agc file. So you gotta go pound, include, and then whatever mymove.agc. So that way it includes the mymove.agc file into this project and then of course you have to call the function the wasd function so we're going to call it wasd and that should call the function so we're going to save it run it I'm going to press W I'm moving forward now I'm pressing uh, something's not right let me try it again what am I doing wrong? Else if get raw key state 83. Let's run it. I'm gonna press S. Oh! You know what I did? Uh, I gave it the same. So um, if I press S, I wanted to go backwards. So it's negative 10. There you go. So let's run it. So I'm gonna go backwards first. That's my house forward, backwards, forward, backwards. Alright, and so we put these two on its own if statement because when I press up, I want it to just go up and then when I press uh, when I press W I want to go forward and when I press S I want to go back. I don't want to have the option of pressing both W and S and, that, and basically it would do nothing. It's either or. So now we're going to go um, uh, left and right. So we're going to get, you know, I'm going to copy this whole thing. Just make it easier. I'm going to paste it, and now I'm going to get the scan codes. So A, I want the scan code for A. A is 65. Wait, let's see. Um, a negative number should go left 
and A is left, so I'm going to put 65 here. And D should go to the right. So D, scan code for D is 68. Okay. And now we're going to run it. Let's see. So I'm going to press in D. Oh, you know what I did wrong? <laughs> the problem uh, copy and pasting is you copy everything. So you got to make sure you change everything accordingly. So to move left and right would be X. The X axis goes left and right. Okay. Well, let's try running it again. Yep. So I'm pressing right, pressing left, back, left, right. So D, A, W, S. So it's doing what I want it to do. All right. Now we want to um, do some rotation. 